um, great question came in. The, uh, the viewer has a question about the count being changed, but they have 100 stitches and the designer is just saying, uh, work 80 stitches evenly across. And you're shaking your head, well, there's 100 there. How, how are you gonna do that? The, the reality is, is that whatever they're about to do in the next process relies on that number. Now, there's a few factors in that. So let's talk about that next. Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. So maybe you're thinking, maybe you're an experienced crocheter. Why wouldn't the designer just said, well, you know, just crochet three stitches and then put two together and then three stitches, two together and do it like that. Sometimes a design doesn't work like that. Sometimes the designer needs you to hit a certain number and the current project is not a multiple of that number. So what they do is they say evenly space the amount of stitches so that it will work. So what you would want to do if that is the case is that you want to break this down. About to divide the edge into pieces so that I don't have to frog everything. And the reason why I'm doing that is that if you need to, for example, get to 80 stitches instead of 100 and you're crocheting along and all of a sudden you're at 70 and you still have another 10 to go, but you don't have 10 stitches left. So the best way to do this is to divide up your process so that it's a lot easier to manage. So how I would do this, let's just, I'll show you how I'm going to do it in half so that the distance is approximately in half. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a little snippet here. So let me just do that for a second. So with it still folded in half, I wanna place a stitch marker at the fold. And this is gonna tell me approximately where it is in half when I go to do this. But I wanna break it down even further. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this and open it back up and you can see there's the center point based on the half. I want you now to fold the one side to the center point. And here is going to be the next part here. So I want you to place another stitch marker here. So I'll do that. So I've now just placed another stitch marker here at this point. So now when I open it up, I can see the one, two, and I'm going to take the other side and also fold it towards the center. So then I can find out what this is. There's a reason why. So just hang out with me just for a second. I'll show you why I'm doing this. So by doing what I just did, I now divided the edge into four equal pieces based on the fold. Not a count, but just on the fold. So I have one, two, three, and four. So what I'm going to do, for example, say they want, we had 100 stitches and they want us to go to 80. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to take that number, even if it's an odd number, just get it really close to an, an even number. And I want you to divide it by four. So 80 divided by four equals 20. So this means that by the time I get to the first stitch marker, okay, I need to have one through 20 stitches applied to that. Then I start fresh from the next one right after the stitch marker and I put one through 20 again. Again, after the next stitch marker, one through 20, one through 20. This saves me so much time than just ramming my way all the way across and realize that I'm gonna be short or I've got too much. This gives me a milestone marker midway through that I know that if I don't get 20 by here and I still have more to go, it means that I'm going too slow. And if I'm at like number 17 and I, I'm at this point, that means that I'm going, um, I'm, I'm going too fast. So what I can do by dividing this whole length into these pieces is that I can be guaranteed that I can understand how to evenly space my stitches. If I need to frog back, I only have to frog back to the stitch marker. I don't have to frog all the way back, which means to rip it, rip it, to rip it out. So this gives me a mile marker uh, point of view so that I can get my stitches in and I can get to the count the designer wants because whatever the designer has planned for next time is reliant on the number that they're saying. And if they're telling you to evenly space and hit a certain number, it means that whatever you've worked on is not a multiple of whatever is to come in the future. So that's how I would do it. And that's a great question. And thank you so much for asking.